Creating high quality videos on your iPhone or iPad using iMovie is a great way to go, but what if you want to add in some additional audio, maybe some background music, some sound effects? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about audio in iMovie iOS. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome to Studio Live. Today, if you want to learn all about audio and video creation on your iPad or your iPhone, then consider subscribing. But for now, let's jump right down into iMovie and take a look at how to use audio to really make your videos pop. So yes, video is super important in your iMovie projects, but audio is not to be overlooked. So in this one, we're going to be taking a look at everything audio. Now, this is a video I put together in a previous tutorial, and you can see here I've added background audio here using some of the new background audio here in iMovie 2019. So I'm just going to delete this, but if you want to check out that original video, head up to the link up the top there. It'll also be in the description below. Let's now take a look at all the different ways we can use audio. So a regular video clip here, if we tap on that, in the bottom left here, the third icon along here is our audio. So we tap on that one and we have some basic volume controls here. So if we drive the volume down here to say 50% here and hit play, those tips and tricks and hacks all designed to help we can adjust our volume if we want the volume to be louder. Let's say we take it all the way up to 125%, 126 and hit play. You create, record and release your best. So if you're bringing in different clips especially and you uh, find that the volumes are not balancing, that's a quick and easy way to just tap on your clip, tap audio and then come in here and adjust the volume of your clip. Let's put that back to 100% there. There's other ways that we can add audio here too because iMovie gives us the ability to have a separate audio track to add either back background or even foreground music to our project. So let's take a look at how to do that right now. So to add a background music clip to our project, let's hit the big plus button over here on the left. And now instead of video, we're going to tap in the top left and go back and back. And we're now going to tap on audio. Now, when we tap on audio here, we can select from a few different places. We can go into soundtracks. Now, this is iMovie's own audio library. And we'll come in here and play with some of this in a moment. But let's just show the other options. We can go to My Music. So this actually goes into the music that you have here. Now, a warning here, make sure that you're not producing using copyrighted music and then you're actually putting that into your videos and releasing those because you may run into trouble if you upload to YouTube, Facebook and other places if you're using copyrighted music. Make sure you have the rights to use any music that you add. And finally, we have sound effects. So this again is the sound effects option that we have here for iMovie. So this you can add in some of these fun sound effects if we just tap on one here. Yes, yeah, you can see you can have some fun with these and we'll show you how to do those as we continue on this video. Let's go back and back again because the other thing that we can do is we can actually import our own audio using iCloud Drive. So if we tap on iCloud Drive here, it's going to take us into our files app and we can actually come in here and find a file to import from here. So we'll cancel that for now. They're the options that we have for adding audio. Let's give you an example of how we do each of these now. So let's start by adding some background music to this video. We're going to tap the big plus button here on the left and we're going to scroll down to audio and tap on audio and then we're going to tap soundtrack. So we're going to use the built-in audio soundtracks that iMovie has here. Now as we scroll down here, you'll notice over on the right there's a little cloud icon and that's any that I haven't downloaded. So we'll scroll through here. We can see we've got chill, we've got different things, we've got sentimental. Let's go with a chill. What about something like uh, the sunroom? Let's just tap the little download icon over here on the right. That's going to download this to my device. I can then tap on it. Oh, I like the sound of that. Let's hit uh, tap again to pause. Now, if we want to add this one in, we tap, tap on the add button over here on the right, and that will add that in, and it will automatically line up the start and the finish with the start and finish of our track here. So because it's background music, it's going to automatically do that, but we can change some of the way that this functions, which is what we're going to jump in and show you now. So to edit, we just tap on the green track here and here you can see along the bottom, we've got all of these options which we'll go through now. So the main one you're going to want to look at is the volume. So if we look at this little volume icon here, the audio icon, we tap on that one, we can now actually adjust the volume because by default, if we hit play, your best music. My YouTube channel Studio Live today, you can hear there that the volume is 100%, but it's 100% in the background mode, which means it's going to be pretty quiet. If you wanted to boost that up, you can boost it up to say 150 odd percent. It's been running for a few years now and we've got over, but that's probably going to be too overpowering. If you want it even more subtle, you can drop it down. 
500 videos all designed to help you. And my recommendation with background music is less is more. About the 100% is okay. Sometimes I'll even go lower just to make sure that it's sitting underneath. You can still hear all the content. Over here on the far right, you can see we've got the fade option. So we can fade in and fade out our audio as well. If we tap on fade, you can see here our trim handles change to this fade handle. So if we grab this at the start, we can drag. And let's just say we want the audio to fade in right up to that point. If we hit play now. Hello and welcome to my home and mobile recording studio. My name is Pete Johns and you can hear that that audio just gently fades in there. What if we want to do the same here at the end? We'll tap again, we'll just fade this one out and now let's take a listen to this audio fade out at the end. And for your support and for your consideration and I'll chat to you soon over on Studio Live today. So there you go, it fades out at the end there. So there are a couple of cool options. If we want to go back to our trim feature, let's just tap in the bottom right again. And now we can adjust. Now we can't adjust past the end because you can't have audio in iMovie without video. So, but we can clip it back if we want it to end before the end using our trim function there. So there's a few cool editing tools, but there's a couple of other things that we can do here with our audio, which we'll look at now. So down in the bottom left here, let's now tap back on the edit icon here. And there's a couple of different things we can do here with editing. We can scroll across and find a point here where we want to split the audio. And if we tap on the split button there, we can now manage this as two separate pieces of audio. Let's just undo that one for now. The other option we have is the foreground option. So at the moment, this is sitting as background audio. If we want it to actually be more in the front, so say you're actually making a music video and you want your song to be at the front instead of as background, let's tap on foreground and you can see here it now pops it out and it's got this blue icon now so blue stands for foreground audio and if it's in the background it's going to be green so let's play this now Hello and welcome to my home and mobile recording studio. My name is Pete Johns and I create... Now, that's not going to be great for this type of video, but if you had, say, just some muted volume tracks here of your actual video and you just were creating like a, a nice soundscape behind it, you might just want to use that for that particular part. So that's a way to bring your audio into the foreground. If we wanted to go back in the background, we just tap background and there you go. It is back in the background. We'll just top it, tap it back to the foreground for now because there's one other option that you may have noticed here and that is duplicate. So if we tap on duplicate, it's now going to duplicate that audio. So now we've actually got two tracks of audio here that we can control separately, which might be handy if you wanted to process two different bits of audio and then you can actually move these around and actually edit when they come in and when they come out. So it's a, not a function that I use often, but it's good to know that you can actually have a second track of audio there if you need to duplicate that audio out. So we'll undo that for now. We'll undo again. We'll undo. Let's bring it back to your background audio. So that is how we can bring in background audio here in our track. Let's show you some of the other cool audio features here in iMovie. Let's show you how to add a sound effect now. So again, we're gonna tap the plus button here. We're gonna tap back to go to audio and this time we're gonna tap on sound effects here. Now let's find a, an appropriate sound effect here for me to use in here. We've got a boing, everyone loves a boing. <laughs> Wow, that's a lot of boings, actually. So uh, we'll go with it anyway, just for fun. Or maybe we'll be booed. <laughs> yeah, let's say I say something really bad and we want a booing crowd. This will be a bit of fun. So we tap the plus button here. Now, what it's going to do, it's going to insert that as foreground audio right where my playhead is. So I happen to be in this part where I'm about to say something, and then we're going to bring the booing crowd in here. So let's hit play. Or music recording. And now you have an opportunity to support me and to help us continue... So apparently the crowd does not want anyone to support me on Patreon. <laughs> That's a bad thing. But you can see here, we now have two tracks of audio. We've got our background audio still playing here. And in our foreground audio, we can bring in sound effects. So this is pretty cool. It's not the sort of thing I do a lot of. I don't use a lot of sound effects. But if you are creating a movie or doing something fun and you wanted to throw some sound effects in here, that camera shutter sound or something else like that, then we could actually put that in here. Let's just do that one more time to show you how we do it again. So we'll tap the plus button. This time, let's do the camera shutter. So this is a sort of cool one if you're making a slideshow perhaps or something like that and we'll hit plus. There you go, it adds it into the foreground. We'll just take a, whoop, we've moved everything around. Sometimes when you hold down, that'll happen. Don't worry, hit the undo button. It'll undo whatever you've just done. Scroll back to here. 
hit play. Everyone, for your support and for your consideration. There's that camera shutter. And again, we can use the same controls. So if we tap on these ones, we've got all these same functions. We can go into volume here. We can use the trim and the fade, and we can cut this one. We can make it background or foreground. We can duplicate, delete, and even split our audio here if we want to actually change it up. So there you go. We can add in background music, and we can add in the foreground, our sound effects. But what about if you want to add in your own music? Well, that's what we're going to cover now. So let's delete this background music now. We'll tap on the delete button there. And what I'm going to do is tap add. And then this time we're going to go back to audio. Now I could go my music and I could add in something from my own library, but a lot of that is actually copyrighted music. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how we can import from our iCloud drive. So anywhere you've shared or stored on your iCloud drive, and this includes on your iPad or on your iPhone locations, as you can see up the top here, you can actually bring in here. So if you use GarageBand as I do, if you create audio any other way, any video file, that you have anywhere, you can import all of that here into iMovie. It's very, very cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my iCloud drive because I happen to know that I have my music folder down here and I'm going to go in here and find a track that I want to bring in here. So let's go to my completed songs track and let's bring in my song uh, College, why not? So I'll tap on it. Now it's not here on my device, so it's going to download this from iCloud and then once it's downloaded, I'll come back and we'll tap on this and I'll show you how we can import our own audio file into our track. So that's downloaded now. It pops it straight here into my track. So as soon as it's ready, it pops it in. Now, this is just going to function exactly the same way as the other background audio from iMovie. Let's hit play and take a listen. Hello and welcome to my home and mobile recording studio. My name is Pete Johns and I create... And there you go. So that is my own music in the background there. Now I'm on the iPhone. On the iPad, you have an additional option, which we don't have here, which is the audio waveform option. So on the iPhone, editing can be a little trickier because you can't actually see the waveform here on your audio. The screen's not big enough. But if you're on an iPad, you'll have that additional feature. With the iPhone, you just kind of have to listen and find the right spot. So I did want to mention that as well because I know some folks will say, how do I actually line up my audio? Well, on the iPhone, phone you're a bit more restricted on the ipad you can definitely line up your audio by seeing the actual waveform there as well so there you go you are now ready to go out there and start adding some epic audio to your movies here in imovie if you'd like to see some more imovie videos there are two linked right down below you can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the studio live today icon in the top right corner and i'll see you on the next video